it. You scrawled on this video to do it. Shout out to God Box Production and shout out to Kiam. I see you doing your thing, brother. Continue doing what you have to do. The only way for me is up. So continue. I will put the link in the description. So let's go. Right. And like being romantic ain't hiding the streets no more. Like I feel like I grew up in the wrong generation. Like if I grew up in the era when niggas used to like put jackets down for bitches to like walk over puddles, I'd be the goat. I'd be swimming in Pune. You know what I'm saying? But you can't do that no more. But you can't do that now. If you put down a jacket for a girl, she gonna step over that shit and go fuck a dark skin nigga to sell weed. <laughs> True story. I don't know, bro. I just got a big heart. That's my biggest strength and my biggest weakness. Like, I'm too trusting. Like, like when this uh, homeless dude told me that he was God, I believed him for like a good six, five minutes. Like, I believed him. God was gonna fire. Like, I'm outside work smoking. I'm thinking, okay, if God is gonna come back, he's not gonna come back as no rich, wealthy person. He's gonna come back as a broke homeless person trying to test me. So we talking, right? We talking shit. He's like, yeah, man, you know, I'm God and all that, da, da, da. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he broke out his Bible, and I realized that he couldn't read. So, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you open up the book of, uh, I'm like, nigga, what? Did you do it? Go on. Too trusting, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm now, just now, I'm in my sexual prime. Like, I'm late in the game. Like, I'm just now in my sexual prime. I was trash, like, in 1920. Like, you know the uh, gorilla dick pills they sell at the gas station? <laughs> don't take one, bro. Don't do it. Look, Speak on it. <laughs> don't, take, don't take two like I did, bro. I fucked up. I fucked up. But I can't, it was hard for me. Like, I had the, the baddest girl I ever had in my life, bro. She was perfect. And, like, just for some reason, like, my, in my mind, I had a mental block where I couldn't fuck it, so I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna give me a gorilla dick pill, because that's a guarantee. I'm not messing this up tonight, bro. No way. So, you know, I go to the store, pop me a gorilla dick pill, I'm good. I call up, I'm coming through, baby. Pop me another one for reinsurance, I'm good. <laughs> I go to her house, I'm focused, bro. I'm treating this like game seven and NBA finals and shit. Mm. I take my clothes off like NBA warm ups and shit. Ugh, I'm ready. This is the biggest moment of my life, bro. If I steal this, I'm good. I'm married. Mm, that's how my head works. <laughs> this, is the, this is the moment. Nigga, as soon as she touched my arm, I busted the nut, bro. <laughs> But the part I was even on hard, bro. Like, hey, how you not on see my heart? Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Too crazy. I don't know, like, this might be a joke, bro, but I got, like, this text, like, last week talking about, uh, don't be a sex addict like Tiger Woods. Click this link. <laughs> I'm all pissed off. I'm like, there they go. There they go. Always trying to take down the black man. Like, you black man, you on top, they love you. Make one mistake, it lives with you forever, bro. Like, Remember that girl Tiger Woods, a sex addict? I mean, okay, you know your wife is wrong, but sex addict? Oh, 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 okay, 120 women does sound like a lot. But let's do the math. He was married for six years. That's 20 women a month. Divided by 12, that's 1.6666666666667.